Hey everybody, this is Hollywood Modeling. I welcome you to this second part of my review of the German Panzer Grenadiers from Masterbox. And I have now built five of the seven figures so far. And I just wanted to tell you what I think about them and the build and the quality of the kit as a whole. Once again, this is the box art. I don't know whether or not you have seen part one. If you haven't, you can always see it on my page. It's uploaded. And yeah, I would, I would love for you to, to watch it. That's the rest of the sprues. You can see there's only the parts left in there for the remaining two figures. Um, it's this figure and this figure, uh, or those two figures that I have not built yet. They will be up next. I don't know whether or not I will do them today or I will do them on the weekend. I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at the already finished figures here. Um, let's start with this little fella. Um, he's the guy who's carrying the, the ammunition in his left hand. And uh, I have to tell you, I was not very pleased with the way the figures went together. I had problems fitting on the helmets. There was more flesh than I expected. Um, yeah, the level of detail though is okay for the, the, the price that I paid. I have to tell you, they, they were very, very cheap. I'm very, very happy. Oh, nice. Now my phone is actually showing you the detail. Um, as you can see, the detail is nice. There were fitting issues on the back and on the, the ammunition and on the, the gun. But yeah, I managed to get it done. The heavy machine gunner. Uh, I'm not pleased with the way the ammunition for the machine gun went on. It looks awful, so I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to use them anyway. Um, yeah, the building instructions didn't tell me how to exactly put on the ammunition, so I tried to use some hot iron to bend them, and yeah, it didn't work. So, eh, not so good. This little fella went together pretty well. He's just a normal soldier. Yeah, not much to say. The detail is nice, yeah. The the figure I love the most in this kit is this uh, crying or desperate soldier. He is going to go nice with the diorama. I think I have an idea in mind that, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to... I don't know how to say it in English, but anyway, I'm, I'm going to build a diorama with this little fella and a tank and maybe some other figures as well in the pa in the future. And the last figure that I've built so far out of this kit is this guy who's screaming. And once again, the level of detail is nice. The flash and the other stuff, not so nice. I think I have to use quite a lot of filler to put in the... In the gaping holes that are there now. But yeah, that's what I think of this kit so far. I think for the price, 9 euros for 7 figures, it's still okay. It's not high end. I don't know how old this kit is. I haven't found anything on the box or on the spruce or anywhere. Um, yeah, but still, if you want to buy it, buy it, but don't expect too much. All right. Thanks for watching this video. This is Hollywood Modeling. And yeah, see you next time. And thanks again for watching my videos. Bye.